Welcome back to the channel, folks. My name is Joel Duggan, and it is raining in Minecraft, just like it's gloomy and rainy outside here in Dartmouth. Uh, we're back outside of West Hill on the Citadel server, and hopefully going to be putting the finishing touches on the Lilac Farmstead today. We finished up the uh, landscaping around the outside yesterday, and uh, what I want to do today is the final touches on the farmhouse. So things like putting flower pots in here and some hanging things on the wall, that kind of thing. And uh, then we'll be able to move on to whatever is next. I haven't decided what we're going to do next. So that's the plan. Mind Trip Media, thank you ever so much for kicking off the stream with 100 bits. I really appreciate the support. Good to see Cosmic Dancer, Blast Jordan, Grandpa Crafter, Scotsman UK. A lot of the regulars in the house. Good stuff. Obviously, we have to wait to sleep before... We can move on, but uh, we have a nice, fresh, clean inventory, and I don't need the bed, I don't think. But while we're waiting, I do need to craft more armor stands. That is andesite. That's what I want. We might need more than four. That should be good though. Thanks for those links in chat, Cosmic. Appreciate it. Uh, let's see here. I can probably turn off shaders. Always sad. I can't play with them. I wish I could. Uh, that's the building list. Where is the book? Uh, oh, you know what? I wonder if that's in my other... Hmm. Did I leave that... I'm wondering if the armor stand book is in my shulker box that is in the gold farm. You know what it might be? Cosmic, do you remember when you said that you spotted my shulker box in the gold farm? If it had a book uh, oh no here it is here statues got it all right cool i was like that would have been a long trip for nothing if i hadn't found it i knew i kept it somewhere logical it's not really a tool but i could see me i could see myself putting that in the toolbox so armor stand uh flower pots do i hmm don't know what else we might need i do like the idea of maybe using an item frame Maybe we'll put some bread on the table. I definitely need to go get some flower pots. I don't have any flower pots out here. So we'll go get our clay. The book wasn't in it? Okay. It should have been like pickaxes and axes and, sh and shears and like that kind of stuff. I should go get that today anyway. That's because I, I will forget again if I don't. Maybe I'll do that for my first break. I don't think we really have to repair anything. We're in pretty good order. Uh, clay. There's some pots. I think we're going to need more than that. Nope. Pot. P-O-T. Can't see myself needing more than five. Maybe we'll do six. Or seven, just in case. Uh, 
And there, is there anything else in here that we could use for interior design? I wanted to grab something that might look like boots. So if I have any leather armor, I do. Leather pants, not quite. Leather boots, they are colored. We might be able to change that. This is why I keep this stuff for moments just like this when you feel like you might need it, you know? Uh, I don't think a jacket would be, like an armor leather tunic would be quite what I'd want. Maybe we can hang an iron hoe or something. Although, that would probably be kept, kept outside, not inside. Although that could be cool as like a fireplace poker, maybe? Oh, I already had some bread. Don't see anything else that could be useful. Maybe some rails, but we have that stuff out there already. Okay. Should be good. Too. Cosmic Dancer, thanks for being awesome. Sandy, thanks for being on top of everything in chat. It was all tools. <laughs> Steve was really impressed by them. Yeah. That's just me not throwing anything away and putting mending on a whole bunch of things and probably being the person that plays the most on the server by a long shot. So that's a mending. Oh. Don't see anything there we could use. Although we're probably gonna need some candles. So I'll do that too. There might be some mini blocks I could use too. Sometimes soul sand mini blocks look like a um, cake or a loaf of bread of some kind. Might wanna grab Couple of those. Couple of barrels. Nothing else there. And I've already done all of the um the other stuff. The hanging wall attachments. I don't think I want to put any curtains. It doesn't seem like it would be a place that would have a lot of curtains. Oh, books. Uh, I don't know whether we filled the, filled the bookshelf yet or not. Might have to look at that. And then as far as flowers go, my guess would be... I know we can't put sweet berries in there. I wanted to see what Flowering azalea and azalea would look like. Maybe a mangrove sapling. But then also, I was thinking something either purple or pink. So probably alliums or that. And we can't do anything else with these. So maybe some of these. Certainly enough to start with. I do want to make, I don't know whether a stone hoe would be good or whether an iron hoe would be better. Oh, definitely stone. Color on stone, I think, is better. Yeah. 
and I don't know about these boots. What color are these? Super black. Right. Probably just the brown ones would be my guess. Although we could maybe make them a little bit darker brown. Oh, that's going to dye them completely black? I thought that you could do incremental dyes. Maybe black is the wrong, the wrong one. Hope oh, that's the wrong thing. So it does change the color a little bit. That's a little bit better. Maybe we'll try one more. I think that's probably good. The Grim Warrior, welcome in. I'm not allergic to all pink. Just most. I find some of the colors in Minecraft, like the pink is more of a fuchsia, but the, the tulips are, are pretty, usually. Um, all right, well, first off, I wanted to put uh, a pair of boots here, so that should be pretty straightforward. And we'll just use the book. Oh, that's not the right book. <clears throat> Just to have them off center, really simple. Uh, apply gravity, no, and invisible, no, and okay. Real simple. Now there's a pair of boots by the front door, which I think makes a lot of sense. I wanted to hang something here like a hat, but I can't think of anything. All the leather caps in Minecraft just look like helmets, so like there's really not much I can put there. Uh, I was thinking that it would be cool to have a picture up here. And I don't know which one I think will work best. What did I do over at the, uh, the inn? I think it was an item frame, or maybe it was a painting. Item frame, All right? So maybe we'll try a painting over here. Oh, or does it look? It should look the same. Yeah. That is almost where we need it to be. I 
So we'll nudge this that way. Close enough, and then maybe just a little bit lower. That looks about right. Now, I was thinking about putting something on this hook, but because I've got this on the wall now, I kind of feel like this might be a little bit too much. So if I remove that and I put an armor stand next to this, although I should lock this one first. Because then if I put one here, show the arms. And then give it the hoe. Uh, what do I want to do here? Let's that's actually not bad. Let's do rotation. Oh, by the way. Uh, K-Doll, thanks very much for the compliment. Appreciate it. And welcome in. I'm glad that people that listen to this bunch chunks actually want to follow through and come over and uh, watch the stream because granted this bunch chunks is now something that um, I get paid for and have been for quite a while, but um, it also is kind of like an, a, an advertisement for my stream because it's, it pulls in a lot more viewers than my stream does. And so it's awesome that people that listen to this bunch chunks actually feel interested to come and look at this stuff. I mean, that's why Johnny and I talk about our login. It's like sharing our experience in Minecraft, but then also letting people know what we're up to and if they're interested in seeing us actually play the game rather than just talk about it, then um, then they can do that too. So that is the armor stand's right arm. And I can never remember which axis is which. I think we, I think we want to rotate it around the Z axis. Nope, I was wrong. It's the other one. And that is actually not so bad. Uh, rotation five degrees. Say so that's pretty good. And then this time we do want to rotate it on the X, the X axis or Z axis rather. So we'll do that way. Yeah. That's maybe one more. Yep. Now we just have to nudge it up against the wall. Forgot to turn off gravity. Uh, no. Nudge plus eight. pretty good and then we'll just move it a little bit to the west which I think is that way can't tell yep all right so then visible no 
and lock it. Cool. So now we've got what looks like a fireplace poker next to the fireplace. Eric Bannister, hello, welcome in. Appreciate the raid. What were you doing uh, on Twitch today? Welcome in, everybody. If you're new to the stream, I do the Spun Chunks podcast with Pixel Riffs on Mondays, Citadel Cafe podcasts whenever I can with my friends, and of course, I stream on weekends here on Twitch. Well, it's more like Thursday through Sunday, but. All right, so that's. I think that's just enough. You know, like it just, it's not a lot of information, but like we've got boots, we've got log, we've got uh, fireplace poker, and then a little bit of decor. Uh, so I'm going to turn my attention to the kitchen. I kind of want something a little bit bigger here, maybe. I don't know. Uh, I should go get some of those mini blocks from the storage to see if there's anything in here that I can actually utilize. Uh, I think maybe before I do that, we can work on things like putting a flower pot here. And then seeing, oh good, it really fills it out, that's good. I think that's pretty good. I don't think I'd want anything too bright in there. We can look to see what, um, other flowers might be like. Did somebody tell me that you could use shears to get the flowers out of there? Yes. Without breaking the pot. Hmm. I think I prefer the allium. Uh, what was my other option? This one. Yep, we'll go with the allium, I think. Cool, that worked out very well. Nice, Eric. I haven't really built a proper storage system. I've got several bulk storage systems for like all the grass and stone and dirt and stuff, but I've never really built like a sorter that does everything. Uh, I don't, there's really not much we can do in here. I, I want something more here, but that of course is in the way. The only way to change that would be to move. Well, we've got an allium there, so really There's not much that could be done there. I feel like it it needs something on the inside though. Uh hmm. Sometimes I wish we had more um options in minecraft hey can can we make um can we make white armor can we make white not like iron armor but like can we make a white leather armor or does it look kind of like brown i've never actually tried that these are always expensive That looks just like iron. Doesn't look like you can get it any whiter. That's actually pretty good. Looks more like a tunic. I'm all right with that. Oh, I knew we could dye it white. My my question was like, would it be a di like this is what I was looking for. I was looking for something that looked more like um undyed cotton or undyed material, you know, like the people that work on a farm probably wouldn't necessarily have like a pressed white shirt. I mean, it looks it's it looks like I mean, it's even called a tunic. I've always called it leather armor. 
uh, like a, but I guess it's not a chest plate, right? So that makes sense. Now, do I want to put that at the front door? No, I think we'll put it in here. So then I just have to make it look like it's on the wall. I'm not sure whether higher or lower would make sense. Is a little bit in the way. Hmm, maybe I need to move that hook to the other side. It makes the most sense for the hook to be there, but I did not anticipate the shoulder pad coming out into the room. Uh, hmm, it does feel very boxy and strange. That sort of works. It still feels very floaty though. I also don't like that they've, even on the armor, there's like Z fighting. It's really unfortunate. Um, let's try one more. Maybe if I put it in the wall, it wouldn't look so bad. Okay, so then if I grab this and put that here. I think that works. I think that's good. Okay. Uh, not familiar with the Armistand data pack. Can you shrink stuff just a bit? Uh, as you mentioned, yes. Uh, you can do what's called a small armor stand. So if I give it something like. Uh, let's give it this barrel. Actually, mini blocks are really cool, although th that's less of a vanilla way to look at it. But uh, if I give it this bread, for example, first you have to open up the arms. So, um, well, actually, let's let's actually put this in the kitchen. Uh, where would I want to put the bread? Probably right on here, right? So you give it the arms. This is all from Vanilla Tweaks, by the way, vanillatweaks.net. Uh, we can choose styles. You can say show arms, which is what you need to do in order to give it something, right? And then I like to put the arms at attention because it just gives you a good starting position. Presets attention, right? Um, and then you can do something like swap it from... Um, main hand to off hand or main hand to head. But you can also, under Styles, choose Small Stand. And if I did that, then it makes it a small stand. And then the item in it is also smaller. And what's really cool about that and the mini blocks, like this, is that you can have a mini block that size. You can have a mini block that's on a head 
which is the same size as like a almost the same size as a major block and then you can shrink it down and it's like somewhere in between and what you end up with i did this over on the other side here is you can have a block like that like that's two armor stands one of them has got the mini block of the log and then the other one has got the um the axe in its hand right but like you can see how that's not the same size as a small block right because there's there's the mini block right so it's bigger than a mini block but it's smaller than a real block and you can do that by messing around with the positions of it in the armor stand it's very cool i really i would quite like it it's the kind of thing that I just, I really feel like should be in vanilla Minecraft. All the data packs and add-ons that we have on the Citadel are things that I feel like should be in the game. And that's why I've kind of given myself the okay to use them in what I call a vanilla Minecraft survival playthrough. Uh, styles, node, small sand. So that's back to normal, right? And then I can just swap to the head and I find the head easier to deal with than the arms uh, because then I can actually go up here and do like 45 degrees of rotation and then adjust the head based on one of these axes. I think it's this one. Nope. Unfortunately, there's a lot of trial and error, which sucks. The good news is a lot of the times when you're holding an item in, in a hand or placing it somewhere, it's already being held at a 45. So when you rotate at 45, it ends up going flat like that, which is cool. Uh, I think we already removed gravity. That's the other problem is that sometimes that happens. So you end up with a floating item, which is really problematic. So I may have to change how I do this. So we're going to bring this back up. Black Sparrow YT subscribing with Prime. Thanks so much. And Eric, thank you again for the raid. Uh, folks in my chat, if you want to go check out Eric Bannister on uh, on Twitch, find out what they were doing with their sorting system, go check them out. Uh, right. Nudge back up. So in this case, I have to use the hand. Because this way it won't be down so far that the armor stand goes dark. Blast Jordan, good to see you. Valder, welcome in. Or I guess, see you later. <laughs> People coming and going. Uh, nudge that way. Really good way to use these armor stands too is to not put everything in the middle of a block. Like if you kind of offset them a little bit, then it's usually a little bit nicer. We'll do rotation 15 degrees and then rotate it that way. Oh, wrong direction.
think that's good. No. Bread on the counter in the kitchen. Just like little little things that just help make the, the kitchen feel a bit more alive. I do feel like there needs to be something happening here. Uh, in the corner especially. I feel like there. I want to have like one of these mini blocks like barrels or something like I feel like you, we need more happening around here um, I don't want to put any shelving next to the chimney because of course that would be kind of hot we do have books in the bookshelf so that's good um, I don't think I want to add like a shelf in here let's go uh, look at the other mini blocks Most of the ones I have out there were for structures, but there's another mini blocks uh, shulker in here somewhere. Oh, well, maybe not. Maybe I moved it. A pot on the counter. Use an armor stand to put a small sword sticking out of it that looks like a cutlery um in a pot oh, okay what would you use as a pot like a like a flower pot you mean these are all these are player heads that's what i want that to go so there's one that looks kind of like a loaf of something grab that Packed mud may work. I'm really not sure what's going to happen with the new um, way that data packs are written. I'm not sure how the armor stand data pack is going to roll forward. Hopefully the old and existing stuff will not break and disappear. I think there was already soul sand up here. Yeah. Player head, that can actually go in a different box. Nothing else that really looks like it could be food. Yeah, flower pot doesn't really work with armor stands because it doesn't get the 3D model. It just gives you the sprite. We could try something like that, though. You're thinking like something there. I mean, that does help. I just want to... The good news is like this is in another room. So like this looks like a flower pot. But out here, we could make that look like something else. Because there's no other like vessel that you can really make and put down. Um, I was thinking something like this would be good if I put this kind of like in the corner here. It looks sort of like something. I don't know. It doesn't look all that appetizing. Uh, something like packed mud might look better. Also, a bit more contrast. Actually, yeah. I think we'll leave that there. We could also put a barrel here. Right? Because that could be like, you know, your barrel of sugar or something, salt, that kind of thing. I kind of like that idea. The only problem, of course, is that these are the, these are the same size. So then this now, like, you kind of wonder, is that a container? And if, if that is a container, maybe it would be better to actually make it be something that looks looks like a container 
right? Actually, I think I like that better. That works for me. Do we maybe want to switch those? Put the barrel in the corner. Because I feel like the barrel would be something you might put more out of the way. And then this is something that you might want to have a little bit more organized. Yeah, I like that better. Okay. Now I was thinking about putting flowers on the table, but unfortunately in Minecraft, that's ginormous. Like that takes up the entire eating space. So I think for some color, what we'll do is we'll put a tablecloth on there. And I'm thinking either white or light gray. Could be like a bread bin. That's a good idea, yeah. Seeing all the potential in the mini blocks and armor stands really has me wanting to use them in my survival world, though I don't know much detail, uh, don't do much detail work at the moment. It can be really fun. Uh, where's, I'm trying to think about a place that I did a lot of detail in with mini blocks. Anybody that's a regular in my channel, like what's your favorite detailed build that I did with mini blocks that you can think of? Probably something on the, on the west side, maybe? Carpet. Uh, white or light gray. Anything else is gonna be too bright. Maybe brown, but I just, there's so much brown in there already. Any one of the shops. Yeah, maybe the bakery on the west side. Or the leather working place. All right. I assume this is going to be too bright. It is very bright. It's not the end of the world, but it is pretty bright. I didn't know they got used up. Yeah, not even going to bother. We're just going to leave it like that. Uh, so here we could put something with an armor stand on the table. Uh, I also wanted to do a little bit more with flower pots somewhere because we've got, I wanted to see what these look like. It's a little tropical, like it looks like a little palm tree. So I don't know. I wish we could put berry bushes in there. I know we can put azalea trees in there too, right? But that, again, like, I don't have anywhere to put it. Because all the shelving is used up. Maybe we can put it out here? Sure. I think that works. Uh, keep kitchen. Uh, yeah, the keep kitchen. I don't know. Remember if that's still working because of the way that the table data pack is working. Um, blacksmith. You're right. Yeah, the blacksmith was pretty cool. All right. Uh, hold on. Let's go. Uh, do we? Oh uh, yeah. When I sleep, I'll go and I'll check out. Check out more. So I like that. That's cool. Uh, so really, it's just a matter of figuring out if we want to put anything on the table and whether or not the front entryway is done. But I'll go sleep and then we'll pop over and look at some of the details on the, yeah, the black, the armor smith, I think, on the right hand, on the west side was good. Janoy, hello, Joel, came in from the podcast. Really like your building self. Thanks very much. I really appreciate that. And great that we've got so many people coming in from the podcast for the first time. I think we're going to have an interesting show tomorrow. It's mostly going to be listener email, but we've got some decent news to talk about as well with the new piston noise and the other stuff that's happening. So the first thing I did with the armor stands for the weaponsmith was put the crossed swords on the sign and then the crossed axes on the back. So that's four armor stands all hovering in the air to make that. Uh, and then back here, that's an armor stand holding the shield, leaning it up against the wall. That is an armor stand 
holding the sword, dangling it from a chain. The chain is just normal vanilla. Uh, and then we've got the bellows chain has got like a weight on the end of it. And that's an armor stand. And then these are mini blocks. They're not armor stands. They're just mini blocks. And I think that's it. There's no more armor stands over here. And then that chair got turned around and these tables are messed up. Yeah, just mini blocks. And then uh, that is more armor sand stuff. Making it look like it's hanging on the wall. And then I think that's an item frame. I don't think that's an armor stand. Just little bits like that. Unfortunately, the tables and chairs data pack has got everything turned around and it's a real pain to try and replace stuff. Um, that's an armor stand as well for that sign. I don't remember if we did much in here. I mean, we use them, but we use them very much in like a vanilla way for armor stands. Yeah, they're just, I mean, they're posed, so there's that, but, but you could do that in vanilla pretty convincingly, I think, without moving the stands. And then the bakery over here, I thought, had a decent amount of fun stuff. So there's a, a pumpkin, is it pumpkin pie? I think that's pumpkin pie. And then bread. And then in here, we've got the same sort of thing all stacked around. Although, really, there's only the two armor stands. Everything else is just um, normal vanilla placement stuff. I think the candle shop had some cool things, too. Nope, just... That's all vanilla, actually. There's no armor stands in there at all. Well, I mean, again, the tables are misbehaving. Uh, oh, the flower shop was cool. Flower shop, almost all of this is vanilla, which is really, really fun. Just one armor stand holding some shears there. And then one armor stand holding the shovel and leaning it up against the wall. Very similar to what we just did with the, the stone hoe for the fireplace poker. Same idea. But everything else is pretty straightforward vanilla. You can do a lot in a small space. Turing, you like the new piston noise? I like the new volume. I can't say that I like the noise itself. I don't dislike it. I just think that it could be better as a noise in general. CJ, the flower shop is your favorite. Cosmic, the flower shop is your favorite. This is my surprised face that Cosmic likes. Cosmic likes the flower shop. I am shocketh. Yeah, I feel like we need something on there. I just don't know what we do need. And coming in from the back door, I feel like I want something over here too. Maybe I will try to put a, a helmet on that. But what do we want here? I could use an armor stand helmet to put something on there that might look like a plate. I wonder if a white leather helmet could look like a place setting or something. I don't know. And I, I do have enough leather for a helmet. Really, I should go back and get the helmet from in there. Uh, leather, I need a couple other helmets. Yeah. Tried to make the Made the catch. Here's some more armor stand stuff too. Putting a bone in a mini block for like a big chunk of meat. Uh, and then hovering. That's a jungle log, but it looks like smoked smoked beast of some sort. It's a lot of fun to play around with. It's tedious. It takes a long time to get used to. There are um, mods out there. So if you end up playing on a modded server uh, for like... Because we, we technically are modded um, for performance. But um, you can... You can get a mod out there that has a better UI to deal with the armor stands. I mean, I've got lots of leather. I really shouldn't be this fussy about stuff. Tunic. I thought I had more leather helmets, but I guess I don't. There's one. Leather cap, pardon me. I really need to start utilizing some of the stuff that's already in here because uh, 
I'm just going to have to move it eventually. So, leather cap. I don't think there was anything else I needed. Cosmic Dancer gifted a tier 1 sub to KDoll23 and to Turing79. Thanks ever so much, Cosmic. That's amazing. KDoll, you can now connect your Discord and your Twitch accounts and check over the next 30 minutes to see if the Joel Duggan Discord shows up in your Discord connections tab uh, because you'll get an auto, not invite, but like you have auto access to um, to the Discord. Does Pete, does it, does it, does it, anybody know if there's like a, a notification that happens? Do you get like a heads up? You now have the ability to jo join Joel's Discord. Oh, there's a leather store. Stripe down the middle of it. That may not be what we want. Nope. That's not. Maybe I have to use an iron one. Uh, can I dye that again? Does that change the leather stripe? Or does it stay, stay brown? It stays brown. Okay. Um, I guess even the brown is going to have a stripe on it. Yeah. I don't know whether dyeing it brown changes it so that the stripe is invisible. Ah, it's still there. Okay. So we try iron, I guess. I think it's going to look pretty metal, but we'll try it. Uh, what else could we put on the table? I guess I could put like a carpet on the table. Or... Hmm, I've never thought about using fancier blocks. Because some of the terracotta would be a nice subtle color. Break time when you're ready, says Cosmic. Thank you. Appreciate that. Um, all right. Let's go take a break. I'll stick to that just so I don't get carried away. It tends to be better now in terms of connecting Discord and Twitch. Well, that's good. So hopefully folks can find their way in. Um, if not, sometimes you can get a, a link there in the uh the chat uh cosmic posted just a few minutes ago uh check it on an armor stand the stripes regularly vanish on those oh scotsman okay cool i will i have it on my inventory so we will check it on an armor stand when i get back so folks i take a break once an hour it gives me a chance to reheat my coffee and get a stretch in and not be chained to the computer for too long it's never good you should too get up Grab a snack, grab a friend, let them know that we're streaming. I will be back in about five or six minutes.
All right, let's see if we can get a few things done in the uh, in the homestead here. We're almost finished. I'm really excited to check this off, actually. I feel like because of a, a couple of weeks where I was like sick or had other reasons like family stuff, I had to cancel the streams. I feel like this has taken forever on the calendar. I mean, really, 12 or 14 streams is a long time anyway, but uh, it does feel like it took a lot longer than normal. All right, let's try what Scotsman said, and that is that these sometimes look different on the armor stand. Ah, it does sort of disappear. Not quite, but nearly. Uh, and then this one. I think that might be what we want. Let's try it. I'll go that way. Where all the doors are shut, I can hear the creeper outside. <laughs> I can hear the creeper outside. Where are you? Right there. Oh, good. I don't want to forget about him. So we're going to cheaty get rid of him. Do a little top, top gun. Think that was far enough? Yep. Okay. Uh, let's go. So that's a pixel. I might be able to take it just a little bit lower. So that's not bad. I think it gives at least a little bit of interest. There's something there. Uh, we can also do a little rotation on it. Uh, I feel like a small armor stand would be too small, but rather than having it dead in the middle, let's nudge it a little bit the other way. Yeah. And then I'll do just the tiniest little Uh, try five degrees. I'll do five, but I'm going to do five the other way. I just find that taking things off that meter grid sometimes is nice. Okay. Uh, styles. Nope. And then lock it. Yeah, provides some lived-in space. It's unfortunately very similar in color to the tabletop, but I like the tablecloth because I think otherwise there's just too much brown in here. It does sort of look like a plate. I mean, I would imagine that any plates in Minecraft would be square, right? I don't think we'd get a lot of round stuff. It's weird because, like, loaves of bread are not square, you know, there are things that we have in our inventory that are definitely not square. So that's a bit strange in that way. Um, I don't think... That doesn't necessarily look like any kind of hat that a farmer might wear. I imagine the brown one would be better, but the brown one I think is going to be too bland. That took my hat. I don't want that. So I think I like that, but I'm going to change the color of it. OK. 
Can I have it back, please? So I think what we'll do is maybe try a little bit of yellow, a little bit of white. I, I really wish that we had a leather dyeing interface like they do with the loom for banners. I think that would be much better than this kind of trial and error stuff. Yeah, the band down the middle really doesn't do it for me. It doesn't really matter what the color is. It's it's more about the It's more about the actual item. Okay, well, that was a good thought. Uh, I think we're going to skip that because it's just ugly. Can't think of anything else that we could hang on that. That front door. Yeah, kind of stumped. Nothing in there could be used, I don't think, as anything else. Oh, I should maybe put some candles around. I think the campfire does all the lighting that we need. Uh, shears by the front door would not be a bad idea. Yeah, maybe that's a good, I mean, that's a good call. So there really isn't much of a work area, is there? Oh, I want to put an axe out here too. All right, maybe that's what we'll do. Shears and an axe, uh, but also candles. I don't want to put the candles on the table. So I guess maybe we'll put, this might be too full looking. Yeah, that makes it pretty busy. And there's no actual flat surface to put a candle in here. Um, hmm. I wish when you gave the candle to an armor stand that it looked like this. But instead, it looks like the sprite in the inventory. Like that, like a flat, flat graphic. Uh, maybe I don't need the barrel there. Maybe we can get away with putting candles. We don't need the light, but it certainly looks nicer. Yeah, I think I like that better. Okay, and then in here, I almost wanna hang a lantern, although you can't turn them off, which is too bad. I really wish that was a thing.
We could hang a lit redstone lamp, maybe? I don't know if that would look too fancy. Hmm. It wouldn't provide any light, but it would look like it would. That seems kind of strange to have a hanging lantern, though, in the bedroom and then nothing out here. If we were to hang a lantern anyway, it would probably be in here, right? Also, am I missing some stuff there? No, it's just the way that it worked out. Uh, oh, yeah, no, that needs a trapdoor. That needs a trapdoor. All right, trapdoor, shears, and an axe. And I'm pretty sure it's an iron axe. We can make a call, I guess. Shears are definitely needing to be iron, so that's that's easy to do. Are these my... Those are the mending shears. can only make shears one way, and... Axes. Yeah, we'll do an iron axe. I may still do the chain thing. What did I need? The redstone lamp? I've thought about using the data pack that they use on Hermitcraft to add all the copper things into the game. Um, I don't think a copper block would really matter. That would be too big. And it wouldn't really match the idea of like a medieval farmstead. Candles, I think, make more sense. I just I don't have a lot of flat surfaces in the um, in the bedroom to put stuff on. But this is what I was thinking. I don't think anything else. I wonder if a loom would look good in the bedroom. Probably have one of those already. All right. Easy thing first, shears at the front door. And I think we'll just swap these into the head. I wish they were a little bit bigger but we can't do that or change that, unfortunately. Oh, the head is not a good idea. Okay. Let's do, I have to do the other arm. No, wait a minute. I have to turn the armor stand around. Just from experience, if I have to back the armor stand into the wall, then the armor stand is gonna go dark. So I actually have to put the armor stand this way. Nope, not like 
like that. Show arms. Attention. No to gravity. Give it the shears. And then we rotate on the z-axis, other way. Inventory's getting real full, yeah. Are you waiting for me to hulk out about my inventory? <laughs> There's so many quotes from films like Avengers that you can kind of repurpose for fun memes. Uh, nudge. I don't know why it's eight, three, and one. You think it would be one, two, four, and eight? They really do not look like they need a hook that big. <laughs> that's that's the main the main issue. I think maybe I'll put them underneath it. Yeah, close enough. Yeah, I think that's fine. No, that's the other problem. Sometimes you can give it stuff you don't want to. I think that that makes sense. I mean, it's the intention is there, even though the item in the game is really not quite as big as you'd expect them to be. Because when you hold them in their in your hand, they look a lot bigger than that, right? Uh, I think that's everything. No, the axe out back, right? And I wanted to see what this would look like in here. Too low. Yeah, too fancy, I think. The right idea. But. I, in order to get it to look right, I'd have to put it on an armor stand. But I, tell, I still think it's a little bit too fancy. <laughs> teeny shears for teeny flowers, that's fair. Uh, axe, where? Normally I have it in like a chopping block. There's another one just over here. See in the distance. Hmm. I guess maybe I could put it on the top one. It's probably the best way. That was not what I meant to do. Uh, probably better to face it this way. Yeah. 
Yes. Nope. Uh, rotation. Not bad. And then we go to sleep. If you really wanted to go crazy with the armor stands, you could probably have like what looks like folded linen at the base of your bed. You know, like you could do quite a lot with them. But I just, I have so many builds in this area that I feel like it's a little overkill. Um, nudge. Oh, do I have gravity turned off? That is a big, big axe for up there. Let's do 15 and we'll send it that way. Whoops. Yeah, if that works. Oh, you know what would have been better? is rotating it the other way. So if I take the pose adjust and push it just a little bit. Yeah, that's better. Now just a few little tweaks. Like maybe a little bit farther that way. And a little bit farther down. Although, maybe we can back it up now. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Lock it. Sold. Ship it. Yeah, th this feels really tiny. It feels really dinky. I don't know really what to think about that. It's not my favorite. I may end up coming back to that and changing it. Um, the only other thing that I was thinking about doing was putting something else in here, like 
a chest on the floor or something. And I need another trapdoor. I don't know whether that feels a little bit strange. Maybe we could try it in the other corner. Oh, the armor stand there. Can't do it. Okay. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't really feel like you would need it, I guess. I want a sign and a trapdoor. I think we're done. P1, three lily? No, three lie. Welcome in. Sign and trapdoor. Trapdoor goes there, because I missed it before. And the sign, I think I'm just going to throw in here and see what it looks like. I don't know whether I did this before, but I feel like it could be useful. Maybe a dark oak sign without the nails on it could be good. Worth a shot. I can see why a lot of people get it wrong, Pixel Eye, because <laughs> that's not how you spell Pixel Eye. <laughs> um, what am I going to do here? I need Dark Oak Sign. All right, uh, that. Oh no, that's too much like the uh, the chair, I guess. That's right. It was good before. I didn't did not dislike this. This feels kind of empty, but I don't know what we would put there. The only thing I can think of would be like a shelf. You know, that's not terrible. That's not terrible. And then we could potentially put the, um, some of the storage blocks or something up there. Uh, Ooh, what if I put it on an armor stand? Yep. Let's try that. Move that for a second. That's actually, see, it's a head. That works. We actually don't need the arms. I really need to be able to stand on something, but I don't have any blocks with me. Um, cobblestone, packed mud. 
Don't let me forget that. And the inventory is full. We finally got there. That's just going to fit. Nope, wrong way. Uh, let's go five degrees. This is real subtle, but whatever. Sure. I have a small planet full of shulker boxes. You could have walked over to get that's way over there. I think it was faster to mine up the blocks. Yeah, I think that helps the room feel a little bit more functional. Perfect. So that's done. That's kind of like the best I could do. I, I'm not super happy with that, but. I really want to check this off and move on. All right. That's the end of the farmstead. We've got flowers there. We've got the armor stand and the tunic hanging up in the bedroom there. Storage up top. Got place setting fresh baked bread, some candles and some more storage. And then of course we've got a picture on the wall and the fireplace poker along with an ax out back. It, uh, it's a little time consuming, but I really feel like it adds a lot. You know, like when you're coming up to the back door, I feel like just that adds some, some life. Anytime you can put anything on an angle in Minecraft will 100% add life to it. Oh, we've also got this little guy here too. I forgot about that. So same thing, some life there. Yeah, very happy with that, with the exception of like the limitations that we have. These don't have 3D models in vanilla. I have never bothered to implement one. I probably should make them look like honest to, you know, God, real books, uh, real boots rather. That would be nice. Um, but for the lack of a better scaled tool, the gardening shears in the lilac and pitcher plant farm are all good. Let's turn on the shaders and enjoy the fruits of our labor. It's been a little while on the calendar to get this all done, but I am pretty happy with that. The fact that it's all kind of melded into the landscape now, I think really helps. Fun. Good times had by all, I hope. So the next time that I stream is scheduled for Thursday. Uh, that is going to be back here in Minecraft. I have no clue what I'm doing yet uh, because uh, we're going to be starting something new. It's going to be on the checklist. It's more than likely going to be poking around in uh, this direction to try and finish up or get an idea for what's happening over here. We'll have to see. Uh, I also may just, you know, do some more technical or errands uh, on the server. We'll have to see what's going on there. But I'm quite happy with that. We also have the ability now to texture this road. I feel like this road is in a pretty good spot. 
Um, I don't know what's happening with the screen space here. This could be also an easy project to, to kind of like check off if we just want to create some some foliage and stuff in here and just call it done. Then that could be a good thing too. I don't think a house would go here. We might be able to put a house here. I don't know. It wouldn't be a big property. It would just be like some space that somebody lives in, but we'll see. Um, yeah, so then once we've got that done, then all of this can be textured. So there are a few tedious tasks left to go, but I'm really happy with the vibe that, that you get from this place. It's a nice bright color, nice contrast. It doesn't feel like out of place in the area, so quite happy with that. Cool. Uh, where are we going to send you? Let's just see who's streaming. Hey, you know what? Tadpole Milk is live, and we have not had a chance to raid Tadpole this week. Uh, oh, no, he's doing Stardew Valley. Uh, do people care? Um, I, I like Tadpole a lot. If you'd like to stay with Minecraft, I can send you to Short Zelda or Sly Slime, or if you want uh, to just go to another cool stream, I can send you over to Tadpole Milk, who's playing Stardew Valley. Let me know in chat. I am open to suggestions. Crosshatch says Stardew's fine. K Doll says I'm game. Cool. Well, I'll let you all voice your thoughts in chat while I let you know that uh, tomorrow is recording day for the Spawn Chunks. If you're a member of that Discord, then you'll get to listen to us live record that at 10 a.m. on Monday. That's 10 a.m. Atlantic time, UTC minus four hours. You can also follow the Citadel Cafe podcast, which I will be publishing a new episode out very soon. Fingers crossed. I've been behind on the editing on that. And uh, I actually just finished Sugar on Apple TV+. Plus. I will say nothing other than it is excellent, not for kids, and you should watch it. If you're a fan of just like good storytelling and entertainment and, and twists and turns and mysteries and stuff, like super, super good. And uh, I'm going to be talking about that on my next recording of the Citadel Cafe. Thanks for following here on Twitch because I know you've already clicked the follow button, right? Because you had such a good time. You're following. Good. Check out the VODs on YouTube. You can follow there. Also free. Subscribe. Uh, that stuff is just uh, the free archive of everything that we've done uh, in this build area over the last three years. You can, of course, check out patreon.com slash Joel Duggan if you'd like to help me out and produce more of these streams. Uh, the more people that sign up for Patreon, then the more often and more consistent that I can be with my streaming. If you are looking for the Discord, Patreon is also a great way to do that. It is only $2 a month. It's less than a cup of coffee. I truly appreciate it. I think you'll have a good time in the community. And uh, speaking of appreciation, Cosmic and uh, Sweet Sandy, thank you ever so much for moderating this weekend. I really appreciate it. And uh, look forward to Friday, folks. In addition to Minecraft next week, we also have the return of the LEGO Let's Chat on Friday. We are working on the UCS TIE Interceptor from LEGO Star Wars, and it is fantastic. Lots of fun. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.